Darren, the uh, under 20s have been on a, a decent run of form as of late. You must be pleased with how things are starting to progress now. Yeah, no, they've been they've been doing great. We're delighted with their performances and um, yeah, we've sort of four one of the last four to five games or something around that. I didn't look at stats that much, but I know I know by looking at the games we're doing a lot better and it and sort of coincides with the gaffer saying, you know, we'll probably use our, some of our older experienced players like most teams are doing, so you know, not they're doing great, they're doing really well. You had a, maybe a bit of a shaky start to the season, just like you said, you could yeah. use some of the older players. Yeah. Were you ever in doubt that that would start to pick up? Well, no, I mean, you know, we had sort of planned to have, have three squads at the start of the season, and um, we played at an extremely young side the first three games, and they've done okay. They've done okay, they've actually done reasonably well, but I think having so many young ones in at the same time was probably detrimental. Um, and I'm sure if we had uh, played with that, Stronger side that we're playing with now for the start, you know, we'd, we'd be sitting top of the league or there or thereabouts, you know, but it's not really about winning at this level, it's about developing. However, we've, uh, we've, we're on a decent running form, so the boys are, are passing the ball well and um, they're doing well. Speaking of form and the league table as well, you're playing a, a Motherwell side that perhaps aren't quite hitting the heights themselves yet, are they? Yeah, yeah we're playing Motherwell tonight. However, you know, you, you've got to balance that out. I know Gordon Young through there, he works extremely hard, he's a very good coach. Um, tonight we're, you know, we're probably missing five players for last week um, through international and obviously Dylan McGowan who played 45 for the first team on Saturday thought so that's a great thing that we're missing him because of that two or three away on the internationals and um, obviously Brad Mackay a wee out on load now as well so um, it's going to be difficult but that's gives now your, your younger players, the guys who are maybe starting at the start of the season, maybe coming in with two or three older ones, and if we're looking at development, let's see how, how they can progress and let's see how they do. We've given them the information yesterday, let's see if they can take it in, let's see if they can produce it, because it's the most, <coughs> the most important thing in football is you can train all you want and do your, your shape and stuff, it's about getting these younger guys and onto the pitch and for them to do it. So we're looking forward to the game. I think Castle under the floodlight is always a special place. What benefit can it give your boys to be playing there tonight? Well, I think it's a better. We're going to try and benefit the club. You know, first and foremost, it's about the club, and it's a. It's been a pretty stressful seven days. However, um, as a heart supporter myself, um, I think we should be positive. I would be looking to get a lot of people along there tonight. Donate some money. I'll be donating some money myself. Always, you know, you know, I'm going to getting into the buying shares and what I'm doing all that for the club. However, we need as much as many people along there as possible. You give the boys encouragement but also to support the football club because that is the most important thing. And yes, under the floodlights at Tyne Castle is always special. Well, that's just the thing, you know, you're giving people the chance to come and see the future of yeah. Hartnell Bodian Football Club, aren't you? Yeah, well most players will know about Jason Holt and they'll know about Dylan McGowan and they'll know about Brad McCann, they'll know about two or three players that are not playing tonight, or four or five players that are not playing tonight. However, they might know much about the Adam Kings, the Sam Nicholsons, you know, these types of players, Jordan McGee's, these type of players who are going to come in tonight and then play. So it will be interesting to see how, how the, the young players, you know, take to playing in a stadium that is going to have a few fans here. And it's going to be a good learning curve and it will help their development as well. Cheers, Dan. Good luck tonight. All right, thanks very much.